Okay. Oh, now I gotta find my phone. We are live on Facebook. Welcome to Facebook World. So I am Tasha Kramer, Director of Community Health Improvement for the Partnership for Healthier Carroll County. You all know me. I've been here for a while. Um, joining me today, I'm honored to be able to interview my supervisor, Dot Fox. If you could tell us a little bit of introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you. Sure. My name is Dorothy Fox. I am the executive director of the partnership. I've been with the partnership since 2007, I think in this leadership role since about 2012. Um, very honored to lead this organization. I believe it does great things for our community and um, happy to be here. Thank you for asking me, Tasha. Yeah, I'm excited. This is a, I, we should have done this much sooner. <laughs> so today we're going to do a little different. Today we're really going to talk about the actual partnership uh, and what we do in the community and things. So uh, what better person to ask than, than Dot, who's been around for a while and can give us some good information about the partnership. So can you give us a little history and tell us about like how the partnership came to be? Sure. So the partnership was actually formed after a steering committee um, completed the first needs assessment in Carroll County. And what was determined was that there was actually a need for a coordinating hub. So very, very progressive and forward thinking leaders at the hospital and at the health department it was John Cernolka and Larry Leach at the time. They decided to form this nonprofit standalone organization to be just that, to coordinate services in Carroll County as they relate to improving health. That's pretty exciting that, you know, it's very rare to have two big organizations like the hospital and health department come together and create mm -hmm. such a good program. Yeah, and it was very, and I said very forward thinking too, because it truly was. Um, prevention wasn't thought of the same in the 90s. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't really understood how prevention could actually impact health um, way down the line, um, like we understand it today at least. So you mentioned that it was after the first needs assessment. So what is the community health needs assessment and why should the community care about that? Okay, so the needs assessment that actually formed the partnership was very different than the needs assessment we do today. Um, it was something that the community came together and said, let's do this. Uh, the needs assessment we do today is actually a requirement of the Affordable Care Act. So we've been doing it since 2012 and we have to do it every three years. So it is a requirement and it's a requirement of every hospital across our country. Um, for us, I like to think in Carroll County, we do it more than just what is required. I know we do more than what's required, but I believe we actually do it with the intent of getting the information um, that's really gonna benefit our community members. So the CHNA, as I explained, is done every three years, and we really just try to identify the health priorities as well as where um, we allocate our resources. So it's really critical to how we use that. But even in the bigger scope, it's really about us getting into the community, hearing the voices, and being able to take that back to the leaders who can affect change, impact change, change policies. Um, so that's how I would like to believe this, the needs assessment is used here in Carroll County. Why is the partnership a value to our community? Um, I think financially is the first thing every, that comes to everyone's mind. Financially, we do help reduce redundancies and duplication of services. Um, but even more so, I would like to think that the partnership is a great value to the community for the relationships we build, for the collaborations we have. Um, I would like to believe that we've created many professional working relationships that have helped Carroll County, and to quote our mission, um, improve the health and quality of life here in Carroll County. I love our mission. I feel like it's just uh, what we do is such a good, a good thing for the community. It is, and it's, it's kind of important because we don't provide direct service. Mm -hmm. So what we're good at is building that capacity and that's, that's our intent. Um, so we are very, we're a very neutral organization that is really, um, we really seek other like-minded partners. How is the partnership, the partnership helping to change Carroll County? Um, I think there's the, the definites we do, such as the partnerships, the connections, the resources, the data we provide. But I'd like to say that we, um, and this is quoting our vision, so our mission and our vision, but that we implement community health strategies that have really made some impactful changes. 
um, some of the organizations that we've been able to form within Carroll County and then set out on their own, such as Access Carroll is, is, a, is a wonderful story. It was a need that was known for the underinsured or the uninsured in Carroll County. And we were able to work together with all of our community partners and build this amazing organization that's still standing on its own today as its own nonprofit. So I think that's one of our big success stories. It is a great success story. Um, and I'm going to go off script here for a second. Um, but sure. we often talk about how people um, hear, um, they hear about Access Care or they hear other programs that we do. Why do you think that people hear those names and not the partnership? I, I actually really appreciate that people hear those names and not the partnership. Uh, you know, it was something I've always stressed when I, when I do presentations to any community groups is when I say the partnership, I want you to think in the bigger picture of our partners. I never want it to be known as uh, Tasha and all of our other staff over there. Um, I'd, like to, I'd like to be known as the community partners and the more credit we can give to all the people that are willing to work together because it's our mission to do that. But for our partners, they have their own missions, but they come together and work together. So for me, I'm very, very proud when I know that other organizations are making a name for themselves out there. That's, that's exactly what we want to do. And I love that. So when I came to the partnership, it was one of, my, one of the biggest things is realizing how many partners we really do have um, involved in working with the partnership. And we have over, uh, what did we say? How many partners? We have over 140 partners. 145, I think, at last count. That's and that's amazing. That's amazing to me that so many we have so many partners. So, speaking of partners, are there ways that people can get involved with the partnership? There are many ways, and I I always want people to join with what they have their passion in mind. So we have many leadership teams, which are community experts, but we also have action teams. So the action teams work to actually. Um, the leadership teams kind of go through the data and say, this is what we need to do. And then the action teams are the people that actually want to get out there and get their hands dirty and, and do some of the work. So we have all of those along with some of our other groups. Um, I would love to invite people to attend um, one of our, we call it We're On Our Way, our annual community forums, where we update the community. It's kind of our own little state of the county for health for Carroll County. And then also um, take part in the CHNA. Uh, I can't tell you how the voice in a or group of folks to get and them have assessment done, then happy to moderate that session. So they're just some of the ways, but definitely check out our website at healthycarol.org and um, and just you, all of our contact information is there. Thank you so much uh, for doing this today and giving everyone sure. a little piece of the partnership and the time today. So thank you for that. My pleasure. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.